So instead of being given a function, sometimes you'll be given a table of values that represent that function. So these are the years, the 1950s up to the year 2000. Here are the percentages of Americans under the age of 18. So how many young people? And you can see it sort of peaks right there and then starts to get smaller. So what's the meaning of the derivative? So the derivative means slope. How fast is this growing or shrinking? So slope would be y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So that would be 35.7 minus 31.1 over 1960 minus 1950. So on the top, that is going to be 4.6. On the bottom, that's going to be 10. And so if you divide, that is then 0.46. So these are percentages and these are years. So this would be percent per year. So from 1950 to 1960, they're growing an average of 0.4% per year. So that takes care of part A. Construct a table with estimates for, so in other words, do this, but do it all the way down the table. So we did this pair from 1950 to 1960. And then I'm gonna label that as 1950, although it really means from 1950 to 1960. And then right here is going to be the derivatives. So the first one I already did, that is a 0.46. And now do the next pair from 1960 to 1970. So each one, it's going by 10 years, so each one is going to be divided by 10. So I can speed things up because dividing by 10 is very easy. All I really need to do is subtract these two. And then it needs to be the y2 minus the y1. So it needs to be 34 minus 35.7. And that is going to be 0.4. Minus 35.7. So that's going to be negative 1.7, and then divide that by 10. So that's going to be negative 0.17% per year. And then do the next pair. And then 28 minus 34, I can even do that without a calculator, that's 6. Divided by 10 is a 0.6 but we're going 28 minus 34, so that's negative. And then do the next pair. So 25.7 minus 28, that's negative 2.3, and then divide by 10. And then for the next pair, that difference is actually zero. Don't even need a calculator. And then graph both of these. So let's see, make sure that I have enough space. So I'll graph the P function over here. And then I'll graph the derivative over here. So the years will be on the bottom, so I'm not going to write out the whole 1950, etc. But there's the 50s, the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, oh, just barely going to make it 2000. And then these numbers go from 25, so let's say Here's 10, 20, 30, 
actually maybe I should go this is 25 26 27 28 29 30 31 not going to be the most beautiful graph but it gets the job done so let's see 31.1 oh actually I have to go up to 35 32 33 34 35 okay so 31.1 oh p is right in the way And then 35.7, and then 34, and then down to 28, then 25.7, and 25.7. So the graph looks about like this, and then this flattens out. Then for this one. So again, these are going to be the years, the 50, 60, 70, 80, 90s, and 2000. And then we've got some negatives and positives. So how about if this is negative 0.5, negative 1, positive 0.5, So the first one was a 0.46, approximately right here. A negative 0.17, that's pretty small. And then for in the 70s, it's a negative 0.6, a negative 0.23, and then 0. So this one would go about like this. 